Hello, and welcome back to my Mindflare tutorial series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a simple bot that can attack mobs and target which mobs to attack. In this case, I have a simple zombie spawner here. We can imagine this is connected, say, to a mob farm or something else, or maybe it's just a, a bot that sits at the side of the door of your house and attacks mobs that are trying to get too close. On top, I have a just a simple clock with a man block that spawns a zombie every few seconds. I have the game set to peaceful mode so that they despawn immediately while we're riding our bot. But I'll turn it to easy when when we uh, get the bot ready. So the mobs will start spawning and a bot will attack. Right next to this, I also have some mobs here that we don't want to attack. Let's say I'm, because of the design of my house, whatever, I have some cows that happen to be right next to the gate of my house or a horse maybe and we don't want to attack those and keep those safe we want to attack them from the zombies so we want our bot to stand here and just kind of attack any zombies that happen to get close all right so let's dive in like before i have our simple starter script here just create a simple bot we uh run this up in game. Here's our bot, and I uh, did give him a diamond sword. I just threw it in his inventory real quick, so he's holding it. And the, just, just kill little mobs a little quicker. Um, it doesn't really matter what tool you can use. He, he'll punch with his fists if you don't give anything. I just didn't want it to take forever to <laughs> kill anything, so. Alright, here we go. Let's end this real quick, and let's get started. Now, we don't want to attack too quickly, so what we want to start with doing is, say, attack once per second. This should give plenty of time to recharge the arm swing, and, you know, it, it's not spamming the console, checking every single tick or anything like we did before for uh, mobs. So we can do this by creating, using, making use of the uh, set interval function, which is in JavaScript. Now. The center, center interval function works like this. Basically, here you put a function that you want to be run every uh, so often, and the number of milliseconds between function calls. In this case, we want to run it once per second, so that's a thousand milliseconds. So the code inside here will be run once every second. Now. We can't actually run this directly because the bot hasn't loaded in in this point. We do have to wait for the bot to spawn. We can do that by making our code look like this. Now, once the bot spawns, it'll start the timer. So this waits until our bot has fully connected to the, to the server, and we'll then start a timer which will basically check every second to see if there's a mob nearby, and it, if it, there is, it will try to attack it. All right. Now, this, the uh, code, the bot will stand right here and just uh, swing into his thing. So we're not gonna worry about pathfinding or anything like that. Uh, you can watch my previous video if you want to learn how to pathfind, um, how to follow entities and similar stuff, stuff like that. If you wanted to chase down a mob, you just, run the same code here, but then you'd follow the entity you want to attack while you're attacking it. I will not be covering that in this video, but I may in a future video. So for now, we're just going to assume the bot is standing completely still and just swinging his sword at nearby zombies. We're going to go back to our friend, the nearest mob filter for this. Now, one thing you'll note is that if I put type here, it actually says mob instead of a specific type of mob. Well, this is because all mobs have the ha ha use the uh, tag type mob. So if you want to look for a specific mob, you do mob type equals zombie. Now that we have that filter, we can look for the nearest entity. Now, what this will do is it will try to find the nearest entity of type mob, and that is a zombie. 
So if there is one nearby, it'll be returned. It'll, the, the closest one will be returned here. And if there is not any zombies nearby, it'll return null. So we can just say, if not mob, return. We don't want to do anything if there's no zombies nearby, right? Now, next we want to look at the mob we want to attack. This is again basically the exact same code we covered in our first video. Just getting the position of the mob, uh, offsetting it by its height so it looks at the mob's head. Oh, in this case actually I think I want to stay looking at the feet because, well, I can't see the mob's head. So I think I actually want to look at the feet for this one. I think I won't offset it actually. Now. What we're going to do is, after the bot has finished looking, you do want to add a callback. So, a callback in this case, basically, is this code is run after the look, look at function has finished running. Uh, this can take a few milliseconds to finish, or depending on like server packets and stuff like that. So it may won't finish immediately, so usually you don't want to chain commands like one right after the other. You want to nest them. In the callbacks. This will help your code run better in case there's like lag spikes or if the bot takes a few extra milliseconds to look at something for some reason or another it won't it'll won't it'll won't break on you. So you always want to make use of callbacks when you can. After we finish looking all we have to do is simply attack the mob. Now what does this code do? After the bot spawns, it starts a timer that runs once per second that checks for all nearby entities that are of type mob and have the mob type assigned to zombie. It'll get the closest one. If it, there is none, it'll do nothing. If the mob does exist, it'll get the position of the mob, the feet position. It'll look at the mob's feet, and it will attack. All right, let's run it. You can see our little bot here is holding our sword. And let's get this too easy to get this started. Oh, we got an error. So what broke? Sorry about that. I for here's I forgot this little argument right here. What you want to do is when you're looking using this. You want to use true here in the call. Um, the look at function uses something called force here in the middle, which its implementation doesn't really matter. You just kind of want to use true here. Let's try this one more time. Ah, there we go. As you can see, our bot is already getting getting to work. It's looking at the mobs, attacking all of them. It's correctly handling callbacks, or I mean. Um, Swinging and stuff like that. It's attacking all of our things. And it is not attacking our horse or our cows. So, you make this nice little AFK EXP farm or mob farm or whatever. Alright. And that concludes our tutorial. Thank you all for stopping by, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.